Hey guys, this is Ken Marlin from Arrow, and I have in this video I'm going to cover a recent um, announcement and change from Microsoft that they are releasing the new customer license agreement 7.0. So, for many of you that are currently on the CLA version 6.0 that's been around for quite a while, you know, every two or three uh, years Microsoft will update this customer license agreement, and ultimately they will want you to move to that newer version. And that's the purpose of this email. So if you have a CLA 6.0, you've probably um, or hopefully received this email recently. It looks like this. Um, the important part is not to panic. You have until June 30th, 2019, so almost a full year, to um, move to the newer 7.0 agreement. Now, I will have videos later that will compare the agreement 6.0 with 7.0 and kind of highlight some of the changes. In this video, I'm just specifically talking about how to go and accept that new agreement. So if you're ready, if you want to jump to 7.0 agreement, you'll get this email. It will have a link in here. It's kind of buried down here in yellow. Um, the other thing that's important is it'll tell you how long that link is valid. So mine here is valid till August 22nd. If uh, you take your time and, and uh, want to review the, the terms and um, this link expires, just reach out to us here at Arrow, msembedded at arrow.com or ken.marlin at arrow.com and we can renew this link and send you an updated uh, email with a newer link in it. But what you do is you click here and it will take you out to the CLA website and once that opens up you will see your CLA agreement um, with all the contacts so you'll have you know the distributor name, the CLA number, um, the dates, you will have uh, the location, the address, the, um, and then you will have your contact info. And you can actually update those at this time if you like. If you want to add any um, a ARs, which are basically outsourced manufacturers or third-party integrators, you could do that at this time as well. Um, and when, when you've made all those changes, you ultimately need to check this box, check this box, and hit renew. Um, I'm not going to do that on mine just yet, uh, but ultimately the other thing you can do is you can click print online and it will bring up uh, your, your printer so you can actually print a copy of the CLA 7.0. Um, I'm going to cancel on that, but you can see it actually opens up another tab and gives you the printable version so that you can print it. You can also click print a hard copy. I'm not quite sure the difference of those two, uh, but it it will, I think that's if you, in certain situations, you might actually have to print it out and sign it. Microsoft really doesn't want to any physical printed copies. They want you to do it electronic, but there are certain situations where some people do have to print it. Um, and I think that's the reason for the print hard copy. But ultimately, when you are ready to do it, you come in here, you hit this renew button, um, and off it goes to Microsoft and you are then on CLA 7.0.